And so the real change starts. It starts from me and you. It starts from within. If you can't revolutionize yourself, you're not going to revolutionize the world. There's a beautiful example of a man who comes home. And he says, and this young toddler child wants to play with him. He's a young child. And the father just come back from work and he's tired. So he says to his son, he says, give me a few, give me half an hour. I want a cup of tea. I want to put my feet up. When I'm finished, you know, we'll chill. And the boy wants to play. So what he does, he sees a map on a newspaper. So he tears this map up. So he said, son, put the map together. When you put the map together, then we will play. So the boy goes back. Within a few minutes, he thinks the father thinks he's got half an hour, he'll have a cup of tea and he'll relax. Within half an hour, the boy's back and he's put everything together. And the father's shocked. He said, my son must be a genius. He did it so quickly. So he said, he said, son, how did you do it so quickly? So the son turned it around. And on the other side, there's a picture of a man. He said, oh dad, I put the man right and the world came right itself. I put the man right and the wor right, world came right itself. If we become right, if our households are right, if we are right, that is our first step. But that is the most difficult step. That is the most difficult step that we put ourselves, our homes, our communities right. And when you do that, and when you have that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then many things which are difficult become easy because Allah inspires you.